Swedish and Finnish troops practiced carrying out amphibious operations south of Stockholm on Friday as part of the largest national defense exercise of its kind in Sweden in 25 years. The maneuvers, which saw Finnish and Swedish troops practicing working together during operations, were a part of Aurora 23, an exercise that launched across Sweden on April 17 with some 26,000 personnel taking part and troops from 14 nations, including the United States, Britain and France participating. Aurora 23 involves drills on land in the air and at sea and is aimed at helping Sweden boost its home defense and ability to work with international partners, the Swedish military said in its press release. The Aurora 23 exercise is taking place across Sweden with forces from the USA, Great Britain, Finland, Poland, Norway, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Denmark, Austria, Germany, and France. It's uh, very good that Finland is entering NATO. Uh, we expect to be second after them. So uh, for us, it's it's only uh, good to to have this exercise together with them, uh, and and we will join uh, NATO later. Uh, uh, so it's it's not a problem for us. We we are used to to uh, exercise together with fin, uh, Finnish. It's not that big, but if you look into the Baltic Sea region. That's why we need to cooperate. We need to cooperate. With Even though that Finland had joined NATO and we are waiting for 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 the uh, the membership, it, it is of great importance. We feel safer today when Finland has joined, and we will feel, of course, even more safer when we are joining NATO. But before that, prior to that, we need to to continue our great exercises which we have had so many decades back. It's even more important to, to uh, do cooperation uh, between Finland and Sweden when we both are in NATO in the future. So it's, it's, it's good. We have always do cooperation and I'm pretty sure that we are doing that in NATO also. <laughs> Hey. Okay.